I'm pretty stoked. We've got the fourth axis back in the machine and you guys can see that it's now working. I had to jump through some hoops to make that happen, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. This machine originally came with the fourth axis pre-installed, but I ended up having to remove it because I needed to make some parts that were very large in relation to the machine's work envelope. Now we've got it reinstalled. I'm gonna be making some parts for it, but we had to jump through some hoops today. I had to reset the absolute encoder's home position. Now this is gonna be a little technical and a specialized video, mostly for people that either have Syntec controls or a machine in this type of configuration. But I have a feeling that this video could be the video that saves somebody's butt one day when they're struggling to figure out how to set the absolute home position on any of the axes of a machine like this. So let me grab the camera, take you over the control, and I'll show you what I ended up having to do. Okay, here we are at the main monitor page. And what happened is I was getting an alarm that said that the a-axis absolute encoder basically wasn't functioning. And so you go over here to maintenance, alarm, alarm history, and you can see all the alarms that have gone off over time. We'll come down here. Some of these I've never even seen. Like I, I never saw the lubrication pressure oil. Sometimes I think what happens is when the machine's pumping oil, it just fires the alarm real quick and then it vanishes. But here's the alarm that we're talking about. The A-axis not set home, absolute encoder will not work. So this was the alarm that I was getting and the machine was still run, but they're basically it knew something was wrong. So here's, here's what you have to do. You go to settings, parameters, you go to serial tuning, you hit normal axis, and now you gotta go to set absolute home, and then you can go, scroll up and down. Now you gotta be very, very, very careful. This one had said not set. And you can hit set machine home. What I did just to be super safe before I did this, I went back here to my machine location and I jogged the machine to machine X zero Y zero Z zero. And then I went back in to those settings, into the serial tuning settings, into the normal axis, into set absolute home. And then I set the A. That way, if I accidentally did anything wrong, it would just reset the machine's absolute encoder positions to the positions that it already had stored in memory. So I hope this little tip helps you guys out. I've now set everything up. And as you guys can see down here, so you can do a little wide angle view here. As you guys can see down here, when I go to jog and we hit, hit, hit fourth, you can see that it's going one way. We really, you see that it goes this way. And then if you hit rapid, it goes even faster. And then the other way. And of course, if we use MPG for the manual pulse generator, we just go over to the fourth axis and you guys can see that there she goes. I know this video was, I know this video had a really narrow focus and it was a little bit technical and really specialized for people that basically either have this machine or have Syntec controls and are using absolute encoders. But I hope that one day this uh, niche information proves to be useful to one of you guys out there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.